life. What's up everyone? I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Welcome back to another video. Today I have something extremely geeky. It's called De Stress Brewer. Now, De Stress Brewer, and I know that I'm completely misspelling or talking about it, the name, since this is a Belgian brewery. Now, De Stress Brewery makes lots of different beers. They are super geeky. It was established in 2003 by two friends and a brother-in-law. By 2006, they had moved that brewery from a garage in their farm to uh, getting contracted out and they have grown ever since then. Now they do make really crazy barrel aged beers and they come in 750 ml format. They're only distributed in Canada, Mexico and the US and they're looking to expand to other countries but you can find these if you're in North America. They are expensive though. We're talking about a $40 bottle of beer here. Let's jump into the technical starting with the Mocha Bomb Black Damnation number two. This is a massive stout. It's bourbon barrel aged. The vintage on here is 2016 and the ABV is 13%. Then we have the Froggy. Black Damnation number 26. This is again a massive stout. This one has been Bordeaux barrel aged and the vintage is 2013. This has an ABV of 13%. Packaging wise, this has to be probably a B minus. It's just too crowded for me. It's not clean enough. There's just too many things going on, too much information that is all mixed up between the Flemish version and the English version. I just think that they could have spent the time making an all English label, but enough about packaging. What do they actually taste like and are they worth the actual money? Well, let's take a look at the tasting notes, but before that, do you wanna taste like a pro? Head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box and I will send you my free 17 page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. But only that, if you wanna get a sober hat or a sexy sober t-shirt, once you have that in your cart at tastingskills.com, just put the promo code IMOBG and shipping will be free since it's on me. All right, now let's get to these tasting notes. And we're gonna start with, of course, the Mocha Bomb Black Damnation number two. On the collar, deep brown with black center. On the nose, coffee, chocolate, mocha, toffee, espresso in complex layers of bourbon barrel and high American oak. This nose is high in alcohol, but it delivers some serious smoke all at the same time. On the mouthfeel, mocha bomb, like the name suggests. But there is some serious bitterness that is driven by all of the coffee notes. This is very complex as the smoke layers are mixed in with some serious wood tannins. But in the end, the bourbon takes over. The acidity drives a very long finish. This was a super solid beer. I mean, this is 2016 and yet, it has potential to age even more. This was really, really good. I am absolutely in love with this. $40 though, that is pushing it. Now I know that they are a small brewery and I know that they're in Belgium and by the time they sell it to the importer and the importer pays the taxes and then sells it to the wholesaler and the wholesaler sells it to the retailer and then it gets in my hand. Well, yeah, it is $40, but again, this already has five years since this is 2016. And I think that this could even get another five years into it, which is just crazy to me. This beer was a real mind blower. All right, let's move on to the Froggy Black Damnation, number 26. On the color, black brown with a brown edge. On the nose, oh my, the nose on here is all left bank Bordeaux. You get the pencil lead from Poyac, the spiciness from Saint Estef, the complexity from the Margot, and it's all mixed into one crazy nose. This screams Cabernet Sauvignon as it's mixed in with subtle imperial stout. You get the coffee, the chocolate, some cherries that fall into a light mocha. And this has some serious wood layers. This is strange and amazing at the same time. On the mouthfeel, this is a pure mix of 50% imperial stout on one hand, and on the other hand, it is 
left drinking bank Bordeaux. As I taste this beer, I'm amazed and confused at the same time. Since this delivers more current pencil lead, whetstone, dark cherries, flint into a complex terroir that is Bordeaux. And on the other side, you get these long coffee notes that are mixed with chocolate, mocha, vanilla, with some dried fruit notes. This is just a masterpiece. This is mind blowing. First of all, if you're into wine like I am, the Poyac, which is traditionally the pencil lead taste. The Margot represents all that huge complexity of Cabernet Sauvignon. Saint Estephe represents a lot of the spiciness of the terroir. These three barrels mixed in together as this beer was aged is just crazy to me. At the same time, this is 2013, meaning it already has eight years in the bottle. So the complexity is just on another level. And I can tell you, this still has more time to evolve and grow. The minute I remove the glass lid, it just fills the room. But oh my, this is fucking amazing. $40? Yeah. Is it worth it? Oh yeah, this is just pure craziness. I've never seen anything like this. And on top of it, it's really hard to find really old vintages of beer. 2013 is I think one of the oldest beers that I've had. When you look at eight years, that is a long time for it to be in a bottle. All right, let's do a quick recap between them to see if you should buy or pass or collect any of these two. And out of the gate, of course, it's a buy for the Mocha Bomb Damnation number two. This was so good, and I think that you can at least collect one or two, but I mean, at $40 a pop, they are expensive. And if you're gonna go and try to find these and then collect them, you would have to at least get three, so you taste one out of the gate, taste the other one two, three years, and then just pray and wish five to six years from there, just so you get the full experience of this crazy brewery. And then for the froggy, oh my God, if you're into wine, that was just mind blowing to me. It's an absolute collector's item. You should seek the froggy. It was just pure craziness. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Please remember to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe, go down there, click the subscribe button, and if you want to get the notification every time I post, click the bell. Please remember, my friend, stay sober. Peace.